Welcome to my channel. I'm here with another collection review. This collection I always look forward to every year. It is the Lunar New Year collection by MAC. Oh, it is called the Moon Masterpiece Collection. And I am so excited. First of all, the packaging, the packaging. I am obsessed. It has a very neon-esque pop art vibe and I'm loving it. So I'll just show you a few things that I purchased. I ended up getting the eyeshadow palette, I got the blush duo, and I also picked up two of the lipsticks. So this is the collection I'll be reviewing for you today, and I hope you guys enjoy. So without further ado, we'll get straight into the review, <laughs> the application, and then the review. <laughs> so I've already kind of prepped my skin, washed and moisturized. So the first and foremost thing that I will put onto my skin after that is a sunscreen. And I am using the Purito Centella Green Level Unscented Sunscreen SPF 50 plus plus plus. This is a K Beauty sunscreen and so far I'm loving it so it just has this sort of lightweight consistency it's almost sort of gel cream like but I will put that on my face because you know SPF sunscreen is very important and I feel like I don't do it enough and I'm a little bit ashamed of that Australian summer is particularly harsh this year it's been all right uh, we haven't had any crazy sort of heat as of yet at least the next thing is a primer and I'll be using the Guerlain uh, what do you even call this version? The Radiance Concentrate with Pure Gold Makeup Base. Is that what it's called? It's the one that has like the little golden specks. It was quite the popular primer like a few years ago and it's basically just a gel consistency as you can tell or can't tell. It has like little golden, you know, has a little bit of golden specks and flecks. <laughs> Um, so I'll just be using that all over the face. This is just a makeup base that I've been using throughout the summertime just because it's a gel base and I feel like it's not too heavy. My skin has not started off the year with the best condition. I think at the start, like around early Jan, it was alright and then I don't know what happened. It started like just breaking out and becoming like uneven and there's all these little bumps. Anyway, next I will be going into my base product which is this Guerlain Lingerie de Pure Perfection, Natural Perfection Skin fusion texture foundation trying to keep it consistent here with the primer <laughs> so this is just a foundation that i've been using on the daily mainly because i've had it for a while and i just want to use it up <laughs> ah, there is a piece of hair on my face i've kind of been liking just applying the base product with my hands i don't know it kind of gives off a little bit more of a sheer off finish. <laughs> For a while I was like mixing foundations and stuff. Usually I mix like a skin tint with this foundation but today I'm like Ugh, can't be bothered. I'm just gonna quickly put on a little bit more. We're gonna go into a makeup sponge in a second with the concealer but I feel like applying with your hands um, some people freak out. Um, it doesn't seem like the most hygienic thing. <laughs> My hands were cleaned um, and every morning you apply your moisturizer with your hands. So what's the difference? So I'm just going to clean my hands and I'll be back. All right, so we're going to go straight into concealer. I just used two concealers here. One's the Makeup Forever HD concealer and then the other one is the Benefit Boying Cakeless Concealer which looks so cute. It looks like a little pencil. Probably one of my favorite concealers at the moment. I like to just use the Makeup Forever one just under the eyes because it's a little bit more brightening. The color that I got was a little bit on the pinkier undertone so I kind of like to do the highlighty bit of my face. I just use the Benefit Cakeless Concealer to just conceal all the other imperfections. Oh my gosh, my face has particularly bad today. <laughs> I thought I slept well last night. So the concealer is on. Uh, I'm just going to be using the Colourpop. I think this is the 
expert sponge. I'm not too sure if what, if this is what it's called, but I've already wet the sponge, so it's um, expanded to this gigantic size. Oh, you can see that. <laughs> the concealer already made this a dirty mess. You know what? I think I know why my skin isn't in the best condition today is because yesterday I actually fell asleep on my couch with makeup on maybe that's why not not for the whole night it was just like a bit after dinner I was just really tired and I was like watching TV and then I kind of napped a little bit maybe for an hour and a half not that I've ever slept a whole night with makeup on I always take it off um, but yesterday I just napped a little bit on the couch but I think that's never a good idea so yeah my skin doesn't look very nice I mean I'll zoom up hmm there's like this massive pimply thing I'm pretty sure this was like a mosquito bite but I'm not too sure anymore <laughs> um, but yeah there's a little bit of a bump there let's just ignore that <laughs> You know when you get like a bit of like dog fur or cat fur or whatever animal you have and you're like putting makeup on and it's like on your face somewhere but you can't tell because it's very so fine there's always this little bit of an itch we're gonna powder so I'm just using a standard translucent powder I should really be using something that's not an old powder and also like this is by snow beauty i think it's a japanese brand makeup brand i got this when i went to japan a few years ago so maybe this is what's breaking me out <laughs> i'm in denial though i won't get rid of it until i hit pan i feel like i'm almost there though because i see the little you know, the little grooves from the metal um pan i just go into like a more bigger face brush i'm going into this one also a face powder by MAC from like a holiday collection a few years ago but it has like a little bit of a golden glow I like to mix this with the translucent powder that I was just using so just mixing that together my gosh I've been using this powder combination for so long I feel like I was using this combination all year last year I still didn't hit pan so annoying so powder is done <laughs> It looks so scary right now. I'm gonna go into contour. I'm gonna go into the Charlotte Tilbury Filmstar Bronze and Glow Duo. And I'm gonna go into, of course, the uh, bronzer shade. And I actually just go into this Kevin O'Quan Sculpting Powder. This does look small, but I've been using it for a while now. And I finally hit pan on that. I feel so proud of myself. So I just go into and mix those two together. And then I just, you know, do my thing, contour the jawline, <laughs> contour the cheekbones, the hairline. So the bronzing powder I use currently is this bourgeois bronzing powder. <laughs> Delice de Padou. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I butchered that and it's just this cute little bronzer that has a little chocolatey design inside but I feel like my one's a little bit aged <laughs> meaning old I don't know if this is the normal consistency but it's not that pigmented however because of that you can't go heavy-handed on it I, I mean you can go heavy-handed on it and it won't look crazy you know I'm pretty aggressive with swelling my brush into this powder um, just because it barely has any pigmentation <laughs> I guess it's a good thing if you want like a very natural bronze but for anyone who's really wanting like a true bronze you might be a little bit disappointed by that bronzer but i like to use it daily the clouds are coming in just before i go into the collection review i'm gonna go into my eyebrows uh just because without the eyebrows done your face looks a little bit crazy so i'm just using the anastasia brow wiz wait is it brow definer not the brow wiz and I just use this to shape my eyebrows I need to pluck my eyebrows yeah I haven't had time to so let's just ignore all the stray hairs okay so I kind of just like shape the brow with the brow definer and then I use my Shuramura what is it the hard formula eyebrow pencil this is in the shade acorn using this to just fill in the eyebrow 
All right, that looks a little bit crazy, but we're gonna go back to the brow definer and I'm just gonna use a spoolie to brush out um, any unevenness. Sometimes I like to use like a eyebrow gel. I might as well use it today. This is in the shade Ash Brown and this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills. What do they even call it? Dip brow gel. So it has a bit of a tint. We're done. I'm just gonna move on to the real stars of the show, the MAC Luna New Year collection. So I've got four items here that I picked up. I was tempted to get the highlighter even though the shade is the same shade that I got last year during the Luna New Year collection. And so I decided to skip out on it. If it does go on sale somewhat, maybe I might be tempted to buy it, but I have decided not to get it. I'm just gonna go straight into the Lush powder. This is the Good Health, Good Wealth Powder Blush Duo. The packaging uh, is stunning as you can see and it has the similar um, design on the box as it is on the packaging for the blush. It has like this matte feeling. Probably not going to be very good in terms of getting dirty very easily but I find that the color is very beautiful. So this is the orangey tone. The kind of mauve beige nude um, tone is this one down here. It has more of a matte texture. What I can tell is that they both have a slight sheen, but this one over here, the more orangey tone one, if I shade it, you can kind of probably tell the true tone for this. I'll just zoom in. Um, that's what it looks like. Looks a little bit more sheeny, so it has sort of a more glowy finish. And then this one over here is a true kind of matte formula. Both very beautiful shades. I will just show you the swatches here. Let's try this on. Probably going to mix the shades together. So let's just do that. Ooh, there's a little bit of a kickback from the bottom shade, but um, let's see what the shade is like. Oh, I don't know if you can tell. The sun suddenly decided to shine very brightly. But I think I picked up a lot of the orange shade. Oh gosh, that's a lot of blush. Okay, this is, I'm just gonna say, is very pigmented. So, don't go heavy-handed on it <laughs> but I think um, because there's a lot of light coming in from the window I might be getting slightly washed out but if you can tell no <laughs> why do I look so pale oh gosh I will do like kind of close-ups later in a different lighting just so you can see the true color of the blush face come on clouds cover up a bit <laughs> um, but that is a really nice shade. It definitely has sort of like a peachy undertone. I'm just gonna go in with the highlighter. So this year's Luna New Year collection, it had like a koi fish design imprinted on the pan. Last year was also very beautiful, which I have here. They use the same shade, which I feel like MAC should kind of branch out during their Luna New Year collection. Cause you know, last year was double gleam and this year it's double gleam. But last year's one, it had like a dragon on it, which I found stunning. Um, you can see the glow, right? It's a pretty beautiful glow. I understand why they choose like the best-selling extra dimension skin finish every year, but I feel like, come on, at least do something a little bit different. Choose a different color, even if it's part of your normal line or do like a limited edition color because this is a limited edition collection. Here's to hoping that next year they don't use the same shade for the highlighter, if they even bring out a highlighter, which I feel like they do every year. Anyway. We're gonna move on now to the eyeshadow palette. Now I contemplated whether I wanted to buy the eyeshadow palette. Last year I got it. I didn't really use it that often. So I was umming and ahhing, but I decided, you know, for this review video, I wanted to pick it up. Again, the packaging is the same as on the box and they call this the Sea of Plenty palette. It kind of reminds me of like a chessboard, but like, neon brightness <laughs> going on. So these are the shades. I don't know if it's focusing 
You say it's focusing. It's beautiful, like, um, if you can tell. There's only three mattes, there's a few shimmer shades, and then I think there's like one foil, two foils. I don't know. Let's go ahead and swatch these shades. I'm just gonna go into the shade in Create Your Own Luck, which is this one. I feel like it's a nice transitional shade that that's nice already. And you can't go wrong with MAC's um, eyeshadow palettes. They're just like the standard, good quality, great pigmentation, easy to blend shades. I know there's a lot more now that you can choose from, but you know, back in the days, MAC was the brand, I think, the beauty brand that everyone was using. And there's probably a reason why. The next shade that I'm going to go into is probably this middle pinky, corally shade. The shade name, I believe, is you're in Lux and it's kind of like a shimmer shade but I don't know I want to check that out so let's put it all over the lid I feel like these shadows although no fallout it has a lot of kick up like the powder it's going everywhere let's just go with it I know this looks crazy right now I'm gonna just go into this foiled shade on the side here fortune found it's just kind of like this beautiful kind of coppery rose gold shade and I just want to put it on the middle of the lid Ooh, there we go if I use my fingers for this it might work a little bit better oh yeah <laughs> maybe fingers are the way to go with these shadows can you see we're gonna blend the shadow out i'll just do it now so you guys don't think i'm crazy i like to blend out the shadow with a clean blending brush okay this dark very dark brown almost black shade is called free spirit and i'm very scared to use it just kind of highly down just see if it's very pigmented and i'll try and darken that outer corner a little bit Ugh. I'm very scared of these dark colors. It's so easy to mess up the whole look if you just go a little too heavy-handed with it. Dab just a little bit. Oh my gosh, I knew it! I knew I was gonna stuff that up. Okay, um, let's just try and blend that out. It's okay, it's okay. We're gonna keep blending. I feel like this is a very standard look um, that I'm doing, so I might like change it up. I do want to maybe put that blue shade because I'm very curious about that blue shade. Sea of Plenty. Oh, the shade that this whole palette is based around. Hopefully I cleaned this brush from last time. Okay, let's go into the blue. Should I put it on the bottom? I don't know. I don't know how that's going to turn out. Maybe this was not the greatest idea. I'm just going to... I have to make the other side a little bit even. Which one should I use? The more whiter shade or the one that has a bit more of a peachy pink undertone? Maybe let's go with this one first. So I'm going into the peachy pink undertone shimmery shade in Superior Sound. Oh, that's quite nice. I feel like I made a mistake of using that blue shade on the bottom first. So now everything's looking like very gray. Should I just commit and just use Sea of Plenty and just go ham on it on the lower lash line? Let's just see. That actually is a really nice blue and I do want to do like a bluish look with it later on. I don't know, can you see that? It has like kind of lighter blue shimmer and then a bit of silvery shimmer. I think I made a mistake uh, using the blue but we will go back into that transitional shade. Create your own luck. Probably my favorite shade because it's so like everyday neutral. My face is so washed out right now. Let's see if I just pull this curtain a little bit. Oh gosh, it's so dark now. The sun is just going in and out today. I'm just gonna go into that foiled shade. Fortune found. Tap that in. Very curious about this last shade. It's another shimmer shade. It's called What's Your Number? Oh, it's kind of got like a earthy, almost green undertone. Should I just put it on the outer corner and just see how that is? I may have ruined this look, but it's too late. Okay, looking back on my face, I do see a little bit of fallout here. So maybe like the darker shades do cause a little bit of fallout. Let's see if I can brush that away. If not, let's just ignore it. <laughs> 
Um, I'm just gonna finish off the look by putting on some uh, eyeliner and mascara and I'll be right back. Liner and lashes are done. I just used uh, two of my favorites, the ColourPop Cream Gel Liner in the shade Sunny Veil, which is kind of like a dark brown. And I also use the Marc Jacobs Fine Liner Ultra Skinny Gel Eye Crayon in the shade Fine Wine. So these are two of my favorite eyeliner combos that I use and then I just used the Hourglass Caution Mascara which I also like. Not very clumpy. It just kind of enhances the natural lashes a little bit. It has a very even kind of application and it's not too much. Do you want to come here? Jen? Do you want to come here? Come here. Wants a hug. Do you want to see Sam? My dog. <laughs> Sam. I wanted to you know, interrupt this video, did you? <laughs> Alright. You can do whatever. I'll just leave him roaming around the room. That's fine with me. Um, oh, there he goes. <laughs> okay, so we're just going to do our last swatches, which is the lipsticks. I believe there are four? No, five? I forget. I decided on getting two lipsticks. I got the shades Breakthrough and Playing it's the packaging that got me. I think I got two shades that I would most likely use often. So I got two shades. Look how beautiful these lipstick bullets look. There we go. Look how beautiful it is. Isn't that so stunning? So the first shade, which is Breakthrough, it's a nude shade. It kind of looks like that. Is it in the powder mat? Oh, Powder Kiss lipsticks, which I have not tried yet, but let's go for it. The shade is so beautiful! Oh wow! It's kind of like a pinky ready nude but that bricky burnt red undertone and it's so stunning. So far I do like the texture and the feel of the Powder Kiss, is it called Powder Kiss um, lipsticks. I am a fan and also that color is so stunning. The other one I got was Playing Koi, very fitting and it's this beautiful kind of neon orangey color. Oh, this is such a stunning shade as well, especially for the summertime. Oh my gosh, I am loving this How to Kiss lipstick formula. It's weird because it does give off a very matte finish, but it has sort of like a moussey texture. It feels very light and creamy and soft on the lips. I feel like my camera isn't picking how brightish it is on camera, but it's kind of like neon esque but it's winded a few notches down so it is bright but wearable and it has like this beautiful kind of coral almost orangey coral undertone and i feel like these two can also go together like i can use breakthrough all over the lips and then go in with plain koi like in the inner corners and do sort of like a gradient lip i will get changed and finish off this video <laughs> look at boo boo hello Oh, don't, don't, don't. <laughs> yeah, love me, love me. Why would you love me? <laughs> okay, so I'm back. I wanted to put on something red because it's the Lunar New Year, but I don't know why. But this is making me look like Pennywise the Clown. Do I look like a clown? Maybe, but I love this top regardless. It really does look like I've murdered someone. This pattern looks like blood, does it not? I've actually never worn this top out and now I'm a little scared too. I kind of want to change it to something else but I can't be bothered so I'm just gonna stick with this. We'll just go with a Pennywise look even though I was supposed to go for the Lunar New Year look. Okay so this is kind of like the overall look. The glow is very nice. I didn't even spritz my face so wow. So this is if you can tell the shadows um, have relatively blended properly. If it hasn't then it's probably my skill and not the eyeshadow. I am excited to use the other shadows, especially that blue shade. But yes, uh, otherwise the blush, the glow, it looks nice. The lips, 
Okay, I'm a little bit embarrassed. Not the best application, um, but look at the shade. Just ignore the application, like I said. But very comfortable. I am very impressed with this powder kiss lipstick formula. But yeah, that is the overall look. I am actually pretty impressed with the whole collection that I picked up. Obviously, I really wanted to get the highlighter, which is the Extra Dimension Skin Finish in the shade Double Gleam. As you can see, it has kind of like a koi design. Like I said, I'm tempted to buy it. I'll probably get it if I see it on sale. Maybe. I am a big fan of the blush duo. It has like a matte formula and a sheeny formula put together. One's a peachy color, which I'm always a fan of, and the other one's kind of like a nudie mauve shade. I will go with the MAC description on their website. It's called the Powder Blush Duo featuring soft coral peach and red orange shades. Okay, so they call it a red orangey shade. I don't think that gives me red orangey shade. Overall, I'm a huge fan of the blush. It blended out really well. It does give you a beautiful kind of wash of color. It is quite pigmented, more pigmented than I thought it would be. If you go heavy handed with it, it will be like very intense. Like the description says, it has like a soft peachy undertone. I love those sort of shades, so I'm a big fan. I didn't get to use all the eyeshadow colors, but I do want to play around with this, especially the Sea of Plenty shade, which is that blue color in the middle. Lucky last, I am in love with the Powder Kiss lipsticks. First of all, like I said, the packaging is beautiful. On the MAC website, it seems like they come with five shades. I love it. This is definitely one of my new favorite MAC lipstick formulas. Like I said, it comes with three other shades that I didn't end up picking up. Luck Be A Lady, which is more of a reddish undertone. Then we've got Healthy, Wealthy and Thriving, which is more of a true red. And then there's Turn Up Your Luck, which is, how should I say? This is like a bright blue undertone, red lipstick, very cherry-like. The one thing that I kind of wanted to check out that I didn't get was from the the Versicolor Varnish Cream Lip Stain. That is a long title. This particular lip stain came in two shades, which was Like Candy, which is the one that I really wanted. It's kind of like a ready color, but on the website, the lips looked juicy. And it's a lip stain, which I don't think I've ever tried from MAC. And then the other shade was in No Interruptions, which is kind of like a darker berry. Anyway, that's it for today, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys have a lovely day. I know this is probably going to be edited a little bit late, but on the day of filming this, it has been two days, I suppose, after the Lunar New Year. But, you know, have a wonderful Lunar New Year. I hope you guys enjoyed this kind of product review and application. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I guess I'll see you in my next video. Bye!